Hello and welcome to this week's Cloud Nexus Tech Series. Following on from last week looking at conditional access, we're going to look at a new preview feature called cross-tenant access settings. So what this basically allows us to do is trust another tenant. So for example, you'll be aware of at the moment, current B2B, you can allow guests, things like that in your tenant. So what this will allow you to do is a trust a tenant's uh, MFA settings, compliant device, hybrid join. So this works quite well in organisations that are working quite closely together. At the moment, if you've got an MM, MM, MFA policy requiring guest access, the user will be prompted twice effectively. So what you can do with this is trust that the, the external parties MFA, not necessarily a, uh, a good idea for everyone, but if you've got two organisations working closely together, you require an MFA in both, you trust the policies at both sides, you, can, you sort of know what's going on within that tenant, it's sort of safe to go ahead and uh, configure that. So what we're going to do, we're going to jump into the into the Azure AD portal, we're just going to configure a simple example. So we'll jump in the Azure AD portal here, and we're going to uh, just scroll down to external identities, we're going to look at the new preview feature here, cross tenant access settings. So within here, we you would see your, any current organisations listed plus your default settings listed here. So you, you'd be familiar with the majority of these. So by default, like you can collaborate with external users and guests. Uh, by default, again, it's all allowed. You can disable this. So some organisations might have the disabled. Uh, but what's nice with this new feature is you can be specific with settings per organisation slash Azure AD tenant. So what we're going to do, we're going to go ahead and add a tenant here. So you can either be a tenant ID or domain name. So we'll just add our corporate domain name here. So you can see it brings back the tenant ID. That's nothing, it's nothing necessary to worry about because anyone can get a hold of that. So we've added that tenant here. So by default, you can when you add the add the tenant, you get the default access applied here. So what we're going to do is we'll just jump in here and configure the access. So I'm happy with allowing access and blocking access but you can see here this might be useful if you've if if there's an issue with a particular tenant you can block the access but i'm happy with the default settings under b2b however i want to change the trust settings so i'm happy the mfa policies uh, uh resemble ours and uh, i'm going to go ahead and trust multi-factor authentication from their azure ID tenant I'm also going to go ahead and trust compliant devices. We both have the same compliant device policy within conditional access, which we'll look at in a in a, a future video. So based on that, I'm going to grant access based on their compliance policies, basically. So I'm going to go ahead and save that. So that's just going to save there. And that's nice and saved. So we'll just jump back here. Again, to review this, we're happy with that. So we're going to go ahead and just close that off there. And let's just look at the outbound access policies here. So these would be the outbound access policies to Cloud Nexus. So I can customize these settings to either allow or block. Again, this is outbound. I can be specific on users and groups, and I can be specific on the external application side of things as well. So you can see that's really simple to set up. Uh, it's not going to be for everyone. Uh, some, you, it's not a policy I'd put in for a default blanket policy. Well, you can't anyway. But it, what would be really nice, it would work if you've got a merger type situation, it would work really well if you want to bring the users together uh, and remove the number of MFA prompts people are getting. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Nice and easy. Any questions, write them down in the comments and we'll get back to you and see, see you next time.